Hello everyone, pe people that are here, and welcome back for some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, in the last episode, we finished off Case 3. We found out that D. Vesquies was the true murderer of, mis of Mr. Jack Hammer. And it was all because of self-defense. But, now in this episode, we are going on to Episode 4, Turnabout Goodbyes. This ought to be really interesting. Because I know what happens in this case. Because, spoilers, I've played this game like six times. <laughs> But you guys haven't. But anyway, let's get right down to it. It's been what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You suffer. Now, the perfect opportunity presents itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho, and a bag of presents to you too, God. Okay! Well then, Merry Christmas, guys. I wonder who our new defendant's gonna be. December 25th, 10.08 a.m. Writing Company of Law Offices. Hey, Nick! Do you know if there's gonna be any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Don Nick, is it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand on me. I'm really a freezing one. Uh, what? Oh, is that a part of your, of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to break the elements and forge a new under the flushing of spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any waterfalls per se, but Cord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn! Sorry, but I'm some breaks. Can you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for rushing spring water. Eh, well, at least it's half as cold. Next in the news! A large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy in a trip to the. Ah! Sorry, I'm the professional TV recorder and I still can't talk. Locals are calling it Gordy, and a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its, though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. <sighs> Boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure's coming out of the shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with a hose? Oh god, isn't that deadly though? <laughs> Can't that be deadly? If uh, if, if you get sprayed with a, with a firefighting hose of water? Isn't there like enough pressure where it actually cuts into you? Good idea, Nick! Apparently ESP is no way to we interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gore Lake, but this time it's murder. And People Dead's PC is a slow piece of shit. Gore Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the name is Miles Edgeworth. Age 24. Edgeworth was an up and coming prosecution attorney known for his skills and connections. He was guaranteed a long, rewarding career. He has thrown. Has he thrown it all away? Ed Edgeworth? What the hell's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like. Mick? Ah! Maya! The firm 
Something yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, and he's a suspect in a murder. What? Wait, where? Who? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. All right, uh, detention center. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Ah! Hey, Edward, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you, when you were in here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laughing, he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time we can s spend. Ah, we don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Hey, I didn't want to see you either. Believe me. Alright, so, real question. What the hell happened? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what. Help me. You. Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure you got lucky in one of three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need a real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick! Why am I always the one that has to get angry? Is this going to be the same story? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake was a long ways away from your offices and the court. Why were you down there? Well, I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth! You didn't hear me. Gordy. Hmm? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do a thing here real quick. Or, no. I'll wait till this episode's over, actually. Huh. <laughs> Good one, right. But I'm not that hot up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a what behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt. Never. What? 
My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault, but... It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Well, fine, screw you too, Eddie. Lake is in the middle of the park. I can see some police walking in there. Question people, probably. Hey, is that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal! There's enough of us here! Anything, anyone found anything? Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot! The trial's tomorrow! We need clues on the double! But, sir, there aren't any clues. That's why we arrested the attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir, he's the one who. Shut up! Just. Just you try saying that again. I'll. I'll make you sorry if you do. I mean. Just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe is kind of scary today. Recruits! <laughs> ah! Ah! Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Right. Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? And, and just what were you doing here, pal? Investigating? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems to be the usual. I wonder what's wrong. Uh, Mr. Edward hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you, you don't say. Alright, Detective Gumshoe? You know what happened here? <laughs> you don't know, pal? No. Wow. Okay. It's our head in the fluffy pink clown's lawyer. Ew. What? Hey, never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 50 minutes after midnight. And there was a boat out on Gordon Lake. In that boat, there were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. Computer, calm your fucking shit. Do you just need to be cooled down or something? Do I need to put you in a freezer? And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? Captain who arrived on the scene and arrested him. How did he get there so fast? Well, and there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness. You don't think Mr. George was a murderer? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe in licking it. Right! Who cares what a witness says? I care! You really believe in me, don't you? Don't you detect it? Of course I do! Yep. 
but the police are pretty sure he's a killer. Nobody's even really talking about this investigation or taking that. Uh, I can't read. And nobody's even really taking the, the investigation seriously. Oh no! And after all that help Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Is it true? I won't take an address case. Yeah. yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation would be suffer. What's more, cases, like, cases against him pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have if they have a witness. Hey pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too. Remember the Steel Samurai. Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. Sorry about that cut. Uh, I am tinkering with some stuff uh, on my computer so that everything can run smoother, hopefully. I don't know yet. Yeah. I, I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to, to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talk about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Who is the witness? Yeah, sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything appear. I'm sure they'll turn up at, at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out there on the lake last night. And, and it, was it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we're being thorough. I know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today checking things out. So far we've we've come up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. Ah. Oh, it's Christmas today. I forgot. What are you getting me for Christmas today? Talk to Santa. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Um, no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Yeah, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. And... Any last things you want before... Uh... You're not coming back, Detective? Eh, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Yeah, right. Hey, okay, here. I'll show you how to get to the printing. Come down and see me anytime. Detective Gumshoe gave you directions to the police station. Oh, hey, Gumshoe. And what? Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now, let's, in let's get investigating. Wowzers! 
So this is Cory Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants as wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. Kids today are all about the pink princess now. I mean, come on, you know. Nope. I see things on the bench that I want to take. Huh? Someone left one of those poppers here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes, yeah, I know the ones. Oh, wait, was that Maya's voice? Sorry, Maya, you sound manly there. Hey, Nick, you might be a clue. Let's take it. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop it, right? Was it that obvious? Popper. Hmm. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. Offer put. In the pocket. Oh my god. Computer. Okay. You know what? Hold on. What the hell is all running on my computer right now? This is really starting to annoy the living shit out of me. It's all stuff that I, I kind of can't close. At least the place is well maintained. Yeah, not my computer though, apparently. Oh, hello. Look at that. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, Nick! They were camping here last night. They might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Yeah, definitely next episode. I'm, I'm gonna mess with some settings here. Because I'm starting to get really annoyed with this slowdown. I'm pretty sure you guys are getting the same feeling. Oh, that would have been nice to know that I could use uh, my left button to change scenes. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures triggered by, no by noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick! Maybe it's not... Maybe that's... Yeah. Maybe I'm not seeing it loud enough. Hey! I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken? Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? I know. The party popper? <laughs> uh, yep. It 
responded. has a southern accent. Oh god. Oh, what am I gonna do? Hey you! Get your hands off that! <laughs> that sounds like a guy. <laughs> hey you! Get your hands off that! <laughs> no, I sound like a sassy old woman. <gasps> what in Sam's Hill? Look what she's done now! There goes a whole row of film! <laughs> Sounds nice and all, but it won't pay the bills. Y'all know how much full film costs? Back. What were you thinking, sitting on fire, popper like that in a place like this? Uh, well, well. What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country pumpkin. Yeah, I think I know what y'all think. I say those sudden folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why that must be dumb? Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb doesn't mean we all are. Uh. Uh. Um. <laughs> and who are you now? Your chaperone? Yeah, uh. No, rather, uh. Sort of friends? Just figure out. Y'all gonna say it and say it for the Jesus' sake. God, I'd rather spit through one of Papa's draws than listen to, to the sutter all day. Oh, Christ almighty. I guess we should pay her for a film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am! On second thought, I'll be okay. I'm really sorry. Uh, um, what? Can't you see I'm trying to film on my camera here. Someone, now I'm not naming names, but someone used up a whole world. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything short that would get her attention. It's gonna be one of those, huh? Well, I do have this. I, this is my badge. Huh? I'm badge supposed to be all shiny and impressive. You cop or something? I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try to pull one of them lawsuits all over here for a film now. Cause I'll have you know, I'm a fighter and I wrestle me to look at things in you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. Murder? Sounds cool! Why did y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead! Ask me anything you all like! Finally, some some co-op. You too! Y'all can come out high now. I won't bite hard. I'm thinking of it. Where did my get to? Sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. But culture gap and all. Never mind you, honey. I I can talk Yank for you if you if, <laughs> if it pleases you. 
thanks. I think you'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada Heart. But y'all can call me Lada. I'm, I'm here for photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Ugh. Oh yeah, when... When was that matter anyway? I ain't seen much TV lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve. A man on boat was shot. Do you see something? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure though. Y'all don't remember, I was... I've been here watching... the kid this lake now for a good three days. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which... which I've seen and when. So, what is it that... what is it that you do, Lana? Huh? Me? Y'all don't really want Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. Right here in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student. Student at the university. Country U! Oh my god. Touch me. Uh, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Let me see. I guess about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers. Long stars. What's going on, Blake? That's quite a caring happen. Y'all know it. It's a German made, genuine slow gin. Isn't that where they make knives? So, what's that device that you have stuck on the camera? Ah, oh, the vice! It started moving all by itself when I fired the body button. Oh, that! That triggers shutters whenever it detects certain sounds. I'm going to pick up loud noises right now. Let's go see this other spot. The boat. Right